So he's got a piece of mild steel and here's a Rockwell tester and he's going to test these shrink rings that have come out of a wheel bearing kit on a Repco branded box which is over there. Repco. So this is just mild steel, is it, Dad? It's mild steel. That ended up there. 4140 is down near that black mark. Okay. So mild steel goes to about 65. Went to that just past 30. Yeah. Here's a fucking ring. There's the shrink ring, the retaining ring out of the Repco wheel bearing kit. Now where it went. I just fractionally past 30 when on the uh... Yep. So these are meant to be hard. And look, it's they're just softer than that. they're softer than mild steel. This is possibly the free cut and mild steel which has lead in it. Mild steel is generally about 27 to 30 cut. So how do they get away with selling this stuff? That's a good question. When there's a court case and someone's been killed, they went, this went to the 30, didn't it, that ring? Yeah. So that's even harder. That's harder. The more that goes around there, 4140. Here's a piece of 4140 here. This piece here. It's part of off a, an item which had the tag on it from the steel merchants. I bought it from them. So this is what the shrink ring should have been made out of. So the wheel doesn't, and the axle doesn't come flying out of the car and kill someone. Ah, you see? That's 4140, 60 tonne tensile. The other one went to there. I know that this is 4140 for fact. Yeah, it's still had the tag on the material. Yep. I know where this pulls up. An unbreak, I'll pull up at 50. So this nice looking shrink ring to hold your bearings on your axles. It's made out of mild steel it's even softer than mild steel so how's that meant to stop yeah, your wheel bearing that, coming off come near the 50 then yeah, just shut that off I'll get a uh, soft air. you see this is the wheel bearing kit Repco this is the quality you get here's a stud you know that that would be to measure that wheel stud would be even harder than tempered I'll just grind the end of that Okay, we're just going to grind the end of the wheel stud to show you. But you see, you buy these Chinese made wheel bearings from Repco or even like super cheap auto and places like that and, and you get this shit that isn't even made right. Like this is supposed to be made out of 4140 or be some really tough material and yet they make it out of softer than mild steel as you just saw by the Rockwell tester so when this comes off the axle and the bearing comes off and you're driving along the highway the wheel comes flying out the car and hits some other person and kills them and then whose fault is it? is it Repco's fault? Or is it the person who owns the car? Because they make this stuff wrong. You think a big company would check all this stuff? You see how we can check it? And we're just a, a small business. So why can't this massive company check this stuff? Oh, this can't work this out. So you ground the end of it. Right. So th these are wheel studs, eh? Oh, that there's a bolt. Right. Prove where the machine goes. 
like inside the speed. So I can't work this out, Dad. Why doesn't Repco check all this stuff? Because they're idiots. Put lives at risk. Don't care. That's um, how that is. It's a bit fast, isn't it? Yeah. It went all the way to 60.55. Yeah. Put it on the black and the red dot there. It's a preliminary load. Diamond's going in at the moment. But it's pulling up well before the zero, isn't it? Boom. Look at that. 50, 58. So they're harder, a bit harder than 60 tonne, those. They're probably about uh, 70 tonne tents on. Uh huh. See where this wheel stud is. And here's a wheel stud? Ford wheel stud, that. Oh, Ford, okay. That'll be similar, I reckon. See? Yeah. That'll then pull up just past the 50. Or right on the 50. So that's 50. So, that is equivalent to 60 ton tensile, that bolt, that's probably 70 ton. Yep. So these are just 30, 28 ton tensile. Yeah. So if you press them on, they just open up like a little lead <laughs> or aluminium. And then when you put drive the car at 100 k's an hour, your wheel just goes like that. With the axle out the side of the car and overtakes you. Well, well, going on there. <laughs> You're off the road upside down dead. Mm. Well, you have a head on a, a semi-trailer or something on the car. Yeah. See, so that's the stuff you get from China. Stuff that isn't even yeah. made correct. That's that's the probably might even say on here. Well, like the road, where they made these? Made in China. It doesn't say. You see. Right. But anyway, would be. Would be. The machine don't lie, we put it to an ultimate test. A bit of mild steel, structural, structural steel. Yeah. Probably three cut, it's even tougher than. You probably made those shrink out of melted down corrugated iron roofs. Probably, yeah. Anyway, careful of what you buy especially from Repco.